I'll take the job. I'll start anytime you want, boss. Huh? What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Today, we are going to talk about a game, Yakuza Like a Dragon. And shout out to Sega for sending me a copy and giving me this opportunity to review this game. So thank you guys very, very much. In this game review for Yakuza Like a Dragon, I'm just going to explain what the story is about, my impressions, and how I played. So I got the PlayStation 4 version and played it on the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 won't be available until March 2nd, 2021, all right? Yakuza Like a Dragon is a turn-based JRPG published by Sega. It is the eighth main release in the Yakuza series. It has a fabulous story with a lot of voice acting, making it feel like players are watching a TV series or a movie. Our main character, Ichiban, is a Yakuza from the Arakawa family. Unlike previous Yakuza titles, Ichiban is a lower member of the hierarchy. He is loyal to the Arakawa family and takes the fall for a murder to prevent a big-scale conflict with a rival family. After 18 years, Ichiban is released from prison and no one is there to welcome him. Ichiban was abandoned. He was done dirty. But he does not think that because he's so faithful. So he looks for answers in his stumping grounds, Kamurocho, Tokyo. There, he learned a lot of things change and the Araka family he once knew is not the same. Everything he admired and valued from the Arakawa family was gone. Then he is shot by the Arakawa patriarch and dumped in Isazaki Ichincho, Yokohama, where Ichiban's adventure begins. Now, Isazaki Ichincho is split by the Ichin Three, which are the Yokohama Ryomong, Chinese. Gomeju, Korean, and Seryu clan, which are Japanese. The Ijin 3 protect the area from outsiders while also be at war with each other. It is a mess, and Ichiban gets pulled into it. We have four main characters Ichiban. The rock bottom dragon, a compassionate, loyal, and straightforward person with a sense of justice. He loves video games like Dragon Quest and views the world like an RPG and wants to be a hero. During battle play, he plays like a warrior in the party. Next, Nanba, a homeless man who used to be a nurse. Reflecting his former profession, Nanma is intelligent and the voice of realism in situations. Sort of pessimistic. During battle play, he plays like a mage in the party. Next is Adachi. He is an ex-cop fired from the force after helping Ichiban crash an alliance meeting to confront the Arakawa Patriarch. Adachi helped Ichiban because he knew there was something fishy happening between the police department and the Yakuza. Adachi plays like a tank in the party. Then we have Psycho. She runs a hostess bar owned by the same guy her twin sister worked for at a soap land. Like Ichiban and Adachi, Psycho understands how the underworld works. During battle play, 
She plays like a combination of a warrior slash mage in the party. Yakuza Like a Dragon has a great story, creating a fantastic experience for players. And like many JRPGs, Yakuza Like a Dragon follows a main story and has a variety of sub-stories. Players have the option to pick up sub-stories with benefits such as money, experience, and personality points for Ichiban. These sub-stories are impressively realistic, showcasing the effort the developers put into the game. It's like they did their research to portray these scenes as true as possible. Along with the sub-stories, players can build bonds between Ichiban with the other party members and play quilt games, quilt like darts, staying awake, watching a movie, karaoke, and more. A lot more. For battle play, Yakuza Like a Dragon plays like a turn based JRPG because opponents take turns attacking, and our characters have unique skills to their job like roles. When it is a character's turn, players have four options. Skills, guard, attack, or etc. Which is like items and such. I had fun utilizing the skills because the actions the characters made were so creative, making it not feel repetitive. And executing the skills required concentration because players need to press certain buttons with precision to cause maximum damage. The game was like, nah, we're not gonna make this easy for you. You gotta initiate and finish the attack. I like to use skills with potential to damage more than one opponent. Examples like the Sparkling Cannon, Namba's Pyro Belch, Adachi's Breaking Top, and Ichiban's Mega Swing. Nanba is a healer, which helps players preserve items for healing, but Nanba requires MP, so it is helpful to Stock up on items for replenishing MP. Psycho usually has skills to buff up stats. And Adachi usually has skills for provoke, defense, and such. Characters can take on different jobs, and some jobs have similar skills, but the actions displaying the skills varies. Again, making the game not feel repetitive. After some time in the game, players can quote, summon, quote, allies. And the first one available is from Pound Mates. Pound Mates is like a fighting service. The first summon is free, but after that, players gotta pay. Players would be able to summon under etc. To change jobs, players need to go to Hello Work. Which is funny because this is the same place our characters go to to find jobs because they're broke and need money. It's like a guild giving out quests to adventures depending on their rank, except it is a facility giving out jobs to people depending on their work experience. When players level up jobs, it opens up other job opportunities with the characters providing more variety. This part may feel grinding for some. Earlier, I mentioned players have the option to work on sub-stories and other activities beneficial to the party because they provide money, experience, and personality points for Ichiban. Players need to make money because buying gear is helpful for battle. But they're pricey. And players need to buy gear for everyone. Gotta buy the head gear, the chest, the legs, the shoes, accessories for all four characters. Then there is also the option to craft or upgrade gear. I like to make money through part-time hero because they are quick, give a lot of money, and there are part-time hero jobs all over each and chill. Another reason a player would want to make money is because if a player loses a battle, half of their money gets taken away. 
All that hard earned money gone. It is a little heartbreaking. Makes one not want to lose again. Ever. Ichiban's stats relies on his personality traits, which are passion, confidence, charisma, kindness, intellect, and style. This is where the personality points come into play. Players can do activities to improve Ichiban's stats by watching a movie, singing karaoke, bonding with party members, and more. These activities are really fun. Watching a movie is a game to keep Ichiban from falling asleep while watching a movie by eliminating sheep trying to make Ichiban sleepy. Singing karaoke is like a rhythm game, and there is a song for each character with different levels of difficulty. While working on Ichiban's personality traits, players can also improve the bond with party members. By talking to them at Survive Bar. Bonding with party members at Survive Bar allows players to learn more about these characters and their stories. And there is voice acting, which is awesome. You don't have to read it through, you can just sit back, relax, and just listen to their stories. Improving the bond with party members is beneficial for battle play. And working on the personality traits helps with Ichiban's stats. And by product, improving the stats helps Ichiban in battle. There's a lot to do in Yakuza Like a Dragon, such as the main story, sub stories, games, reviving a business, and a lot more. With the main story, once the cutscenes roll in, players can relax. Enjoy the story because there is voice acting and a lot of it. Even in the sub stories, there's voice acting. Outside of the main story, all other activities create an immersive experience for players. There is mature content related to the red light district and such, portrayed in the very tasteful style, by the way. I honestly think this game was meant for young adults and older because there was so much humor and content little kids would not be able to appreciate. Also, the jobs provided by Hello Work, I do not think little kids would be able to connect the skill actions to the job occupations the characters take up. Because I Like a Dragon has many facets I was not expecting, which was a pleasant surprise. I don't say this often. This is a must have game. Go get it. Enjoy the world of Yakuza Like a Dragon. And that's my review of Yakuza Like a Dragon. What did you guys think about it? Do you have the game? What do you think about the game after playing it? If you don't have the game, what else do you want to know? Leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to give this game a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe so you can be notified on the next video. We also have a Discord. The Discord link is available in the description below. If you want to talk over there too, you are more than welcome. You can also catch me hosting podcasts across worlds, talking about anime, manga, and everything else we're interested in. And I also stream on twitch.tv slash lehua superfina. I have people who stop by after watching the videos. You are more than welcome. It's a chill community. I stream playing Final Fantasy XIV. It is a MMORPG. Other than that, my name is Lei Hua, and this was the Superfina channel game review of Yakuza Like a Dragon. Thank you guys for watching this, and I will see you on the next one. Laters. Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, 
Thursdays and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. Fist bump.